from northern BC. I had entered the Yukon, and there I had encountered bison, large and small, wandered through the signpost forest at Watson Lake, traveled through First Nations land, seen leftovers from World War II days, roamed deep into bear country, and learned how the Trump family really made their fortune. A brothel. Rockhopper here. Join me on a trip, and let's get wild in the Yukon. <laughs> long forgotten piece of the Alaska Highway. It's all potholy and patched up. Kwade Don Kenji. I guess that's how you say it. Long ago, people's place. Looks like we're coming into a First Nation settlement. There's a photo stop on Ops. Let's check it out. Haha, <laughs> it's like the Hubcap Forest. Remember the sign forest? It's the Hubcap Forest. I've been to and done videos from the Oregon Trail to the Alaska Highway and places in between. Caribou and moose antlers. Just a small settlement out here with the flavor of Yukon. Shadhala Ra means sunny mountain. Put this beside a little lake and I think I found my piece of heaven. Nice sized moose antlers there. And the dog on the porch. Dogs lying in the middle of the road. Life is slower and more relaxed here. At first I thought those are clouds out there, but now I'm wondering if that could be smoke. back on the newer Alaska Highway again. This is the little spot in the road known as Otter Falls. Otter Falls Cutoff. You can get gas and camp here if you like. The road ahead, past Otter Falls. We're getting into Kluwani country. Big mountain ranges ahead. They've got snow and veins of ice. Looking good. Welcome to Haines Junction. I'm here at the Kluwani Visitor Center and let me introduce you to an artist named Tegan. So this is part of my regalia. This is a nice uh, hide drum. Um, so the design on it is traditional Northwest Coast Arts uh, form line. And um, it is a raven, as you can see here, with the beak. Um, so I'm Ganachtedi clan, which is raven clan in Tlingit, uh, which is my people. Um, yeah, so this is a Ganachtedi design, and for Ganachtedi, our clan crest is frog. So if I flip the drum to the other side, you can see here's the frog eye and like the face part of the frog. Um, and then there's also a secondary like hidden frog. If I flip it around, you can see his face right here with his eye and mouth area. And you can't have wolf in your design, is that right? Yeah, so because I'm a raven, um, I'm not allowed to have any kind of wolf designs. So this is kind of like, um, this tells other people uh, what clan I am and like who I am and who my people are. Yeah, so you won't see me wearing any wolf designs because then like wolf clan people will be like, what the heck, why are you wearing my stuff, you know? <laughs> Can I show your picture over there? Yeah, go for it. She's a little camera shy, but I can show you her picture. And I can show you... Yeah, you can show my beadwork too. The, I can show the beadwork. 
Here at the Visitor Center, you can purchase traditional mukluks that are handmade. A quick look around Haynes Junction. Hey, if you want to buy an ice cream and burger joint, this is the place. A well-known bakery. Continuing north on the Alaska Highway from Haynes Junction. Those are some real mountains out there. That's a pretty cute cabin right off Alsek Valley Road. The old Gold Rush cabin. That's totally cute. It looks like you might even be able to rent the place for a night. Got a wood stove right there. And there's your facilities. Let's have a quick explore down Alsek Valley Road. Looking pretty scenic out here. Bit of a bumpy road, a little rocky, but not too terribly bad. That mountain in the distance is pretty impressive. Looks like a river ahead, but I do see the road maybe goes that way. Or across the river, I'm not sure. Let's, let's try the one without the river first. It looks like it just gets you some views. There's a hiking trail out there somewhere. I think this is the road, but I don't think I want to chance it. I think we'll keep on heading up the Alaska Highway now. An interesting note is that Yukon Draba is living here and it's one of the only places that does live on Earth. It's a tiny plant. Some wide open expanses here at Sulphur Creek. On these lonely expanses it occasionally feels like I'm the only person out here. Sometimes I don't see another car for five minutes or more. The beauty of these mountains mesmerizes me. That is one weird looking cloud. Petunias and petrol. Maybe somebody's made what was once a gas station their home. This is Kluwani Lake and as you can see it's quite large. This is the name of the mountain I'm about to show you. Deep in grizzly country now. Let me give you some more bear necessities. You can look right at them and you can talk to the bear. It's fine to talk to the bear. Let him know you're there. Say hi in a nice voice, sweet voice, and uh, see what the reaction is. More than likely he'll just kind of look up at you and go back to eating grass or whatever he was doing. And it's okay if they stand up on their hind legs and kind of sniff the air and look around so they use their sense of smell. And they're just trying to kind of sort you out. They want to figure out who you are and what you are and how far away you might be. So, you know, don't be threatened if they stand on their hind legs and of course they're going to be really tall. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, I'll give you some more information on bears in just a little bit. Grass on the roof. That cabin looks pretty old. Well, that's kind of funny. Here's a look inside the cabin. Smells really funky like rat pee. Looks like this was once a small motel, but now is just an abandoned motel by a lake. So much for that idea, I guess. Looks like they left a few things behind in what was probably the shop or a shed. What might have been the lobby or a small restaurant had a nice view. An old Ford dump truck that got dumped. I found a mighty scenic spot for the night, but good luck trying to get out of here tomorrow. This gravel is really loose. I'm just down from the abandoned motel that we looked at. What the heck is coming this way? Is that a bear? A wolverine? Well, uh, what is that thing? It's coming right toward me in a straight line. I don't think it sees me. I think I have a pretty good idea of what it is now that it's getting closer. I don't think it sees me still. It's coming right at me. It 
see me. Hello. I'm right here. Hello. Hello, porcupine. How are you? You're trying to get away from me, eh? Can I help you? Okay. You can sense me, but you can't see me, huh? It's incredibly calm, still, and quiet out here. I mean, it is really quiet. Well, that quiet lasted a little while until the trucks and cars started going by and a plane flew overhead. True quietude is becoming the hardest thing to find in the world today. This is what 10 at night looks like here at Kluwani Lake. The sun hasn't even set yet. This is what it looks like here at midnight. The land of the midnight sun. Good morning, calm morning, beautiful morning, a little bit hazy. Now if I can just get the car out of this gravel, it'll all be good. The car goes well going forward, but it just doesn't have a lot of power in reverse through gravel and sand and that kind of thing. So, try and get it out of here and get back out. Well, that wasn't quite as bad as I thought. It was a little tricky, but yeah, I got out. So I was parked up there and I couldn't you know, get enough momentum, trying to back out. I knew that was gonna happen. So I had to use gravity and come on down this way. You can see the tracks and went on through here and then just had to climb up that and go around and go past there, around there camping up. We're on our way and more beautiful mountains. And we'll be following the lake for another 40 kilometers or so. Magnificent mountains. I just love it. This is Destruction Bay. Looks like a good old World War II vintage truck there. It was an international. That's what's written on the side. Something construction company on the top there. 
The sign says Destruction Bay was established in 1942 as a tent camp for the U.S. Army engineers. It got the name Destruction Bay because a storm came through here with 100 mile an hour hurricane force winds and destroyed the place. Destruction Bay is mile marker 1083 on the Alaska Highway. There's a look at Destruction Bay, gas station. Back by Pretty Mountain. Got your motel there. Not far down the road from Destruction Bay is Burwash Landing, where there's a giant gold pan here and a museum if you want to check it out. General road conditions have deteriorated because of frost heaves. That's when permafrost melts and refreezes and makes the asphalt bump and buckle. So I've been going over a lot of bumps and such, and I'm sure there will be more. Oh, here we go. It's a frost heave now. Businesses come and go here, and this is another example of one that's come and gone. This must have been one of the businesses that was here at one time. The Don Jack River. temperature for getting up towards central Yukon. All this gravel laid down. Ships go flying. Another roadside fatality. This one getting close to the Alaska border. Last chance for gas. Fill her up with un- Realistic expectations. End of the line. The bush is taken over here. It's gonna hide all these cars real soon. Artistic satellite dish. We gotta cross customs because we're going into Alaska here. So I guess I gotta get my passport out. Or not. It says US Customs is another 30Ks. So I think we're in Alaska? Nope, no we're not. We're still in Canada. But that was the Canadian customs back there. This is the international boundary between Canada and the United States. And I'm gonna stand in two countries at once. Right now, I'm straddling two different countries, America and Canada. You can also sit on this bench and have one butt cheek in Alaska and one butt cheek in the Yukon. And mosquitoes. Customs, U.S. Customs, we are entering Alaska. I hope you enjoyed exploring the wild and woolly Yukon territory in Canada's far north with me. I'll have more coming up on the Yukon, but right now we're going to Alaska. So check back with me and keep watching. Don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is The Rock Hopper. I'll see ya.